So, welcome to this uh, therapy session of uh, PE and DP. Um, my name is Marcel Hiltz. I work for Red Hat for about eight years. I changed roles quite a bit. Now I'm the architect for Developer Hub, which is a portal for developers, you guessed it. And there's always some tension between platform engineering and developer hubs. So this time I took more time in preparing my slides, um, so I use less time at thinking while I'm presenting these slides. So I will take you through this um, therapy session and hopefully after it you get a sense of uh, how this tension can be resolved and how we can happily live ever after. So we see PE and DP enter the therapist's office by both looking slightly awkward and unsure of what to expect. PE is wearing a t-shirt with I speak fluent regex written on it. While DP has a sleek minimalist outfit, the therapist greets them with a warm smile. Pay close attention to his shirt. Here we have Dr. Null Pointer. Welcome, PE and DP. I'm thrilled to have you both here today. Before we start, let me just say that I'm a big fan of your work. I mean, without you two, I wouldn't be able to deploy my dad joke generator to the cloud. <laughs> All right, let's get started. PE, why don't you introduce yourself and share what you do? Platform engineering, AKA PE. Uh, I'm platform engineering, AKA PE. I'm the one who makes sure everything runs like a well-oiled machine. I eat, sleep, and breathe command line interfaces. If it can't be automated with a script, it's not worth doing. I'm the master of infrastructure as code, and I can provision a thousand servers with a single command. Developer Portal, aka DP. She smiles politely. Hi, I'm Developer Portal, or DP. I'm the friendly face of the platform. The one who makes sure developers have a, slightful, a, a delightful experience. I provide the documentation, tutorials, and tools that help developers get started quickly and can be productive. I believe in the power of a well-designed user interface and intuitive workflows. Fantastic. It's clear that you both play essential roles in the success of our platform. Now let's dive a little deeper. What do you appreciate about each other's roles? Hmm. Well, I suppose I appreci appreciate that DP makes things look pretty and organized, uh, but sometimes I feel like developers rely too much on the portal and they don't understand the true power of the command line. They're missing out on the joys of writing complex bash scripts. Oops. Um, well, I appreciate Dip, 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 dip. Joy of complex bash scripts. Well, I appreciate that PE keeps the infrastructure running, but I wish they would think more about the developer experience. Not everyone wants to memorize a bunch of cryptic commands to just deploy a Hello World app. That's like asking a chef to hunt and gather their own ingredients. I sense some tension here. PE, it sounds like you value efficiency and control, while DP prioritizes usability and accessibility. These are both important aspects of a successful platform. Let's explore how we can bridge this gap. PE, can you give an example of a time when you felt that DP's approach was beneficial? Well, there was a new developer who joined the team they were able to set up their environment and deploy their first app within, within a day, thanks to DP's onboarding guide. I guess that was pretty cool, even though they didn't use any command line kung fu. Uh, <laughs> I do appreciate the power of automation. Well, that's great. Balance is key. PE, what do you think about finding ways to incorporate DP's user-friendly interface in, with your powerful command line tools. Or PE, not slowly, maybe we could create a hybrid approach where developers can use the portal for common tasks but still have access to the command line for more advanced scenarios, like a mullet haircut, business in the front, party in the back. Did you just compare our platform to a mullet? I love it! 
and we could work together to improve the documentation and tutorials so developers can learn how to use the command line effectively without feeling overwhelmed. Before we wrap up, I have a little homework for you both. P, your task is to explore the developer portal and find three features, three features, that you think are particularly useful. DP, I want you to spend some time learning about PE's favorite command line tools and try to understand their benefits. Mm. I haven't had a homework since my Linux kernel compilation class back in college. Ah, come on, PE, it'll be fun. I'm excited to learn about more of your world of terminal wizardry. Dr. Null Pointer smiles. Now, before you go, there's one more thing I want you to discuss. It has come to my attention that there's a critical issue affecting the platform. I've heard rumors that the developers are planning to a revolt against the platform. They are threatening to switch to a rival platform that promises developer happiness and zero configuration. I think this could be an opportunity for you both to work together and show the developers the true power of your combined efforts. I knew I should have added more emoji support to the portal. De developers love their emoji. Dr. Null Pointer leans back. Use your homework as an opportunity to see things from each other's perspective and come up with a plan to win back the developers' hearts. Small interception. PE meets up with his friends in the local hacker space. They huddled around a vintage PDP-11 trying to get it to run Doom. PE size. You won't believe what I had to do today. I went to therapy with DP. A therapy? Like couples therapy? Yeah, apparently we need to understand, understand each other better and appreciate our differences. Uh, sounds like a touchy-feely nonsense to me. You should just show DP who's the boss with the well-placed sudo rm-rf slash. Uh, as tempting as it sounds, I think Dr. Nullpointer has a point. DP has some useful features, and maybe I could learn a thing or two. Meanwhile, DP is excited chatting with a group of UX designers at a trendy coffee shop. And then Dr. Nullpointer gave us homework. Can you believe it? I get to learn about PE's favorite command line tools. Command line tools? Isn't that a bit retro? It's vintage. Think of, think of it as small batch approach to computing. Well, I guess there's a certain charm to the minimalistic aesthetic of the terminal. Very brutalist. Exactly. And who knows, maybe I can convince PE to do some ASCII art to the output. Developers would love that. Session number two, onboarding and software templates. Welcome back, PE and DP. I hope you had a productive week. Let's start by discussing your homework. PE, what did you discover about the developers portal? <clears throat> well, I have to admit, I was surprised by how many useful features there are. The interactive API documentation is pretty slick, and the code snippets are a nice touch. But I still think the portal could use some more advanced tutorial tutorials for power users. Well, I'm glad you found some value in the Portal PE. I'm always looking for ways to improve the developer experience. Speaking of which, I dove into some of your favorite command line tools, and I think I can see why you like them so much. The level of control and automation is impressive. Yeah, excellent. It sounds like you both gained some valuable insights. Now let's address the elephant in the room, the developer revolt. Have you come up with any ideas to win them back? <sighs> I've been thinking about that. I know I can be a bit stubborn but sometimes, but I realize that we need to make the onboarding process smoother for new developers. They shouldn't have to spend days setting up their environment before they can start even coding. Yes, I couldn't agree more. I've been getting a lot of complaints about the setup process. Developers are frustrated and feel like they're wasting time. We need to find a way to streamline it. That's a great observation. What do you think it could be done to improve the onboarding experience? Hmm. What if we created a set of 
software templates that automate the setup process. That's a fantastic idea, PE. We could integrate those templates into the portal so developers can easily access them. I love the synergy happening here. Well, you know, DP, when I started out as a developer, I spent an entire week setting up my environment. I had no idea what I was doing. And I once accidentally deleted my entire project directory while trying to set up a new tool. It's great to see you two connecting over shared experiences. How you can implement these software templates and improve the onboarding process. <sighs> Dr. Nullpointer claps his hands. Fantastic work. I have no doubt that you'll be able to win back the hearts of your developers with these improvements. I'm proud of the progress you made. Before we wrap up, I have one more question. How do you plan to celebrate your success once you've implemented these changes? Well, I say we have a big launch party and invite all the developers. I love it. And we can have a command line cocktail bar where developers can order drinks using terminal command. Sudo apt-get install tequila. I like the way you think, DP. Dr. Nullpointer smiles. Until next time, keep up the great work. Therapy session number three, the catalog. Welcome back, DP and PE. I heard your launch party, party was a huge success. Congratulations on improving the onboarding process for your developers. Today, let's focus on another critical aspect of your platform, service discoverability. DP, I understand you've been facing some challenges in this area. Yeah, it's been a struggle lately. With a growing number of microservices and APIs, it's becoming harder to keep track of everything. Developers are constantly making they're constantly coming to me asking where they find documentation for specific services. It's like trying to find a needle in the haystack. Well, if, if they just RTFM and learn to speak some YAML, they wouldn't have this problem. The documentation is there. They just need to know where to look. <sighs> Not everyone is a command line, guru, command line guru like UPE. We need to make it easier for developers to discover and understand our services. It's not just about reading the manual, it's about having a centralized, user-friendly place to find information. Well, um, DP raises a valid point here. While technical documentation is essential, it's equally important to consider the developer experience. P, what are your thoughts on creating a comprehensive software catalog to address this issue? Mm. I suppose a software catalog could be useful. It would provide a single source of truth for all our services and their dependencies. But I worry that maintaining it would become a nightmare. We'd have to keep it up constantly, updated, as new services are added or changed. Well, I think it's worth the effort, PE. Imagine how much time and frustration we could save developers if they had a clear, organized view of our platform. They could easily approach for ser services view their APIs and access relevant documentation all in one place. Well, that's a great perspective, DP. What if we approach this as a collaborative effort between you both? Well, I can see value in that. I could work on automating the registration of services in the catalog, ensuring that it stays up to date with the latest changes. We could even integrate it with our CI CD pipeline. Yes, and I could focus on creating an intuitive and user-friendly interface for the catalog. We could include search functionality, filtering options, and even API documentation. Well, brilliant. You both are really starting to think like a team. By combining PE's technical expertise and DP's user-centric approach, you can create a software catalog that is both comprehensive and accessible. Well... Agreed. By making our service more discoverable and well-documented, we're not just improving the developer experience, we're also promoting reuse, reducing duplication of effort. I can't wait to see all the impacts that this will have on our platform. Developers will be able to find and integrate services seamlessly, leading to faster deployment, de uh, faster development cycles, and more intuitive solutions. Well, speaking of solutions. 
I think we deserve a little celebration for our progress so far. How about we grab a drink after this? I know a great spot that serves binary encoded cocktails. Count me in. I'm always, I always wanted to try some note nectar. Both share a laugh, feeling the sense of camaraderie and shared purpose. Now session number four, developer productivity. Welcome back, PE and DP. I must say I'm impressed with the work that you've done on the software catalog. It's significant steps towards improving service discoverability. Today, let's focus on another crucial aspect of your platform, developer productivity. DP, I understand that you have some concerns in this area. Well, yes, it's been a growing concern. Developers are spending way too much time navigating between different tools and platforms. It's like they're stuck in a maze of context switching, constantly jumping from one application to the other. It's hindering their productivity and causing frustration. <laughs> I don't see what the big deal is. They just need to automate more of their workflows. A few well-placed scripts and some command line magic can work wonders of produ for productivity. Not everyone is a command line wizard like UPE. We need to make it easier for developers to access the tools and information they need without constantly switching contexts. It's not just about automation. It's about a streamlined, intuitive experience. Yeah, you both raise valid points. Automation is certainly a key of productivity, but it's also usability and accessibility. What if we explored the idea of creating a single pane of glass interface that integrates various tools and platforms? <clears throat> a single pane of glass? You mean like a centralized dashboard experience where developers can access everything they need in one place? Yes, exactly. Imagine if developers could view their tasks, access relevant documentation, and manage their pipelines all from a single interface. It would become a game changer for productivity. A modular architecture where we can integrate different tools and platforms through plugins. We could create a core framework and then allow developers to extend it with their own custom integrations. I love it. Developers would have everything they need at their fingertips without having to constantly switch between different applications. You know, DP, I never thought I'd say this, but I'm starting to see the value in focusing on the developer experience. And I'm realizing that automation is equally important. It's all about finding the right balance. Speaking of balance, I have an idea for how we can celebrate our progress. What if we automate our coffee making progress process? OPE, you and your automation obsession. Been there, done that. I see your sense of humor is strong as ever. Agreed. And who knows? Maybe our coffee plugin will become the most popular feature. As long as it doesn't lead to any late nights, I'm all for it. <laughs> okay. 4.5 interception in the binary bar. The bartender in a robotic voice, welcome to the binary bar. How may I allocate your beverage resources today? <sighs> Just give me something strong. I need to flush my memory buffer and forget about this day. Yeah, PE, here you got a double shot of Colonel Panic, guaranteed to cause a system reboot. Ah, oh, thanks, I needed that. Error detected in user's emotional state. Would you like to initiate a debug session? A debug session? Well, sure, why not? Initializing debug mode. Please provide a stack trace of your current issues. It's just, I feel like I'm failing as a platform engineer. I'm supposed to be the one keeping everything running smoothly. Analyzing input, it appears you are experiencing a common bug known as self-doubt. I feel like I'm losing the control of the platform. 
System stability is a shared responsibility. Have you considered implementing a load balancing algorithm with your partner, developer portal? Yeah, we're supposed to be a team. Recommend implementing a gratitude subroutine to maintain positive outlook. Gratitude subroutine? I like that. Maybe I should start by thanking DP for being there for me, even when I'm being a grumpy old process. Affirmative. You know what? For an AI bartender, you give pretty good advice. Farewell, platform engineer. May your uptime be high. Session number five, happiness. Well, 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 isn't that my favorite power couple in the world of platform engineering? How are you both feeling today? <sighs> DP and I have been firing on all cylinders lately. It's true. We've been collaborating like we've never done before. That's fantastic to hear. Here. I'm so proud of the progress you've made. Now let's dive deeper into, day, into, the, into today's topic. The developer portal as a tool to build a great user experience for platform engineering. User experience? I thought we were all about the technical stuff like APIs and infrastructure. Oh, PE, come on, there's more life than just the command line. User's exper user experience is crucial. Yes, DP is right. The developer portal is not just a collection of tools. It's a means to create a seamless and delightful experience for developers interacting with the platform. <clears throat> I never really thought about it that way. Your technical experience lays the groundwork for a robust and reliable platform while I focus on making it accessible. Exactly. It's the perfect symbiosis. I see. So it's like I'm the backbone and DP is a friendly face that developers interact with. DP, I want to apologize for sometimes underestimating the importance of user experience. I see now that it's just as crucial as the technical aspects. And PE, I want to thank you for always ensuring that our platform is rock solid. You've learned to appreciate and leverage each other's strengths. It's like we're the pat perfect Potman compose file, BP. I'm the reliable base image, and you're the friendly service that makes everything accessible. Speaking of which, I have a surprise for you. PE pulls out a laptop and types in a few commands. Suddenly, the screen displays a personalized command line interface with a heartfelt message. Oh, PE, this is the most romantic thing that anyone has ever done for you, uh, for me. <laughs> a love letter in the form of a command line interface. You really know the way to my heart. Well, and I wanted to show you how much I appreciate you in a language that we both understand. Doc, I think it's safe to say that this therapy has been a game changer for us. We've learned so much about ourselves, each other, and the true power of collaboration. Absolutely, we're not just a platform engineer and a developer portal anymore. We're partners in, this, in every sense of the word. It has been an honor and a privilege to guide you on this journey. Ready to take on the world, partner? With you by my side, always. Let's go build the most amazing developer experience the multiverse has ever seen. Both leave the office hand in hand, their laughter echoing through the hallways. They know that the future is bright and filled with endless possibilities as long as they have each other. And Dr. Nullpointer smiles to himself. Ah, young love in the age of platform engineering. It's like a binary star system. Two brilliant entities orbiting each other, their gravitational pull creating something greater than the sum of its parts. That's the end. The developer portal is Backstage. It's an open source project. You can find it on the internet. Work with your platform engineers and use Backstage to build a user experience for the platform that you're building. Thank you. Are there any questions? Or is everything said? Would you say the number of developers in a company where you could start to build a uh, developer portal? Like, what is the number? Like, 100 developers or more? 
I think, 10. The question was, uh, from what number of developers it's useful to have a developer portal? Does it make sense for smaller teams or larger teams? I think it depends on the complexity of tools that you are using. So if you only have 10 folks knowing the platform in and out and they know where to go and they don't feel any onboarding or any churn and context switching, just use your tools. I think it's really just about making it a UI. And we've been so locked into UIs uh, these days with AWS. Either you do everything on AWS, then you have their UI. Great. Maybe you have to do everything on GitHub or Microsoft, Azure, great. But if you are on multiple systems and you're building out a platform for your company or for whatever, um, and it's very customized, at some point it's useful to have a UI, a user experience for that. And I think tools like Backstage can help implement that, but it's more like a it's a psychological thing, using that. So if you don't use it on a daily basis, it's not worth setting it up. I th hope you had as much fun as I had uh, hearing that. I laughed a lot about the, on the images that were created. And all the stereotypes in this are not from me, but uh, this is what you all think because it's all trained on your data. Thank you.